In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the K Money Mastery, at the Kindle Money Mastery from Project Life Mastery from Stefan James. I will show you how Stefan is making a fortune just by listing Amazon Kindle ebooks on Amazon and selling these ebooks. I will show you exactly how you can use the system. I will show you what awaits you inside the K Money Mastery course. And yeah, we will take a look inside. So let's go. Let's take a look inside the course. First of all, you can get the Kindle Money Mastery course via the link under the video bonusbomber.com slash KMM like you already see here. And you will also get my bonus courses. First of all, you will get my Instagram traffic strategy where I exactly show you how I get traffic from Instagram. I'm promoting affiliate products. I'm making more than five figures every month by doing that. I will show you in my Instagram traffic strategy how I'm exactly doing that with Instagram traffic. My YouTube affiliate tag, which is one of my main strategies, where I basically show you how I use the second biggest search engine, YouTube, for affiliate marketing. You will also get my chatbot mastery, my video course, where I show you how I run Facebook and Google traffic, my automation mastery, where I show you the right tools and strategies to automate more than 80% of the recurring processes you'd normally have to do in the online business. It's normally worth $497. I will give it to you for free in my bonus bomber package. You will also get my Fiverr arbitrage strategy. This was one of the first strategies actually that I was using. I had one of the biggest Fiverr accounts out there and I just used Fiverr arbitrage. So. I created accounts on Fiverr and I outsourced this work. I sold something for $30, I paid someone $15 to do it and I just basically kept the arbitrage amount. I show you exactly how you can do that in my Fiverr arbitrage strategy and last but not least my Amazon Kindle strategy where I show you how you can use the K Money Mastery, the Kindle Money Mastery also with affiliate product links. So I put basically I put affiliate product links inside my ebooks. I rank them for different keywords. I sell them for a very low price, normally one dollar, and that generates me affiliate sales in the background in the back end. So I don't pay for any traffic. Amazon make sure that I get this traffic. I also get free AdWords ads from Amazon if I do it the right way. I show you exactly how I'm using that in my Amazon Kindle strategy. It's normally worth $199. I will give it to you for free in my bonus bomber package. Just get it via the link under the video bonusbomber.com slash KMM like you already see here. Here we are inside the course. Here we are inside the Kindle Money Mastery. I will show you what awaits you here. Basically, I'm locked in in the members area and you have the whole course here. Like I already said, this course shows you exactly how you can build a full-time income by listing Amazon ebooks, which you don't even have to write yourself on Amazon. Let's start with the Kindle overview. Let's look what awaits us here. I want to show you the first video of Stephen James here. And yeah, we will take a look inside. So let's go. Hey, this is Stefan from K Money Mastery. And in this video, I'm gonna give you a brief overview of how Kindle publishing works. Now, right now I'm on a website called amazon.com and I'm sure you're already familiar with Amazon. Maybe you've shopped here before, but Amazon is the number one online retailer in the entire world. They're literally a multi-billion dollar company and they have millions of users that go to Amazon every single day to buy stuff. And in this K Money Mastery program, I'm gonna show you how to leverage and tap into the power of Amazon and the millions of their users and customers to be able to publish books in the Kindle store and make money from them. Now, I want you to think of Amazon as kind of like a search engine, really similar to Google, Yahoo, or Bing, but the only difference is when people go to Google, Yahoo, or Bing, they're searching for free information. But when people go to Amazon, people are searching to buy stuff. They're gonna come right up here to the search bar, type in the specific keyword of what they're looking for, and then they're there to really buy something. So I'll give you an example. When it comes to Kindle books, people are gonna go and click on this button right here, 
and they're gonna come all the way down here to the Kindle store. In the Kindle store, they're gonna be able to search for specific books of what they're looking for or whatever topics that interest them the most. So for example, someone is interested in weight loss. They're gonna type in the keyword weight loss and they're gonna do a search on that topic and find all the different books that are related to weight loss that they might be interested in buying. If they're interested in dieting, they're gonna type in that keyword dieting. If they're interested in confidence, they'll type in confidence. If they're interested in self-esteem, they'll type in that and do a search as well. Uh, maybe they're interested in meditation. They'll do a search for that. Maybe they're interested in fiction type books such as romance or maybe mystery or maybe suspense. And so you get an idea of what people are searching for and looking for and they're gonna basically type in the primary keyword or phrase of what they're looking for right here in the search bar under the Kindle store. So let me give you an example of a book that I published in the original K Money Mastery 1 program. Right now you're actually going through K Money Mastery 2.0, which is the totally brand new and updated program of K Money Mastery. But in the original K Money Mastery, I use the example of gambling addiction. So if somebody has a, you know, a gambling problem, gambling addiction, they're gonna search for that keyword here on Amazon in the Kindle store. And by the way, if you're curious about it, this is the, the book that I have right here that I use as an example of a book that I publish and you get to see me go through step by step in the original K Money Mastery One videos. And the K Money Mastery One program is included in this program that uh, you're consuming right now as well. So if you do wanna go back and view the entire step-by-step -step process that I've done with this gambling addiction book, you're free to do that. Uh, but in the K Money Mastery 2.0, I'm gonna share with you the latest, newest, updated stuff and share with you everything that works today with Kindle Publishing. But I just wanted to include the step-by-step -step process that I've done with this book for anyone that's curious to go back and, and look at that. Now, a few things I wanna point out. Number one, you're able to see here the number of results that show up for this keyword gambling addiction. So you can see that there's 285 results in the Kindle store for the keyword gambling addiction. This is giving us an idea of how many books are currently available right now for this keyword. And when people do this search, they're primarily gonna look at the top books that show up in their search results. So they might look at the first you know, three or four or five or maybe six books. Um, in very few cases, people are gonna scroll all the way down and then search all the way to the 18th page. There might be some people that do that, but the majority of them aren't gonna go that in depth of their search. And they're just gonna look at the top books that are available. They're gonna look at the cover of the book. They're gonna look at the title of the book, the number of reviews that the book has and the quality of it, as well as the price. And based on those factors, they're gonna decide whether or not they wanna buy the book. And this is a cool thing that Amazon has actually recently added. There's a buy now with one click right here on the search page. So if they wanna buy the book, they'll literally just press this button. And Amazon has people's credit cards already stored on their website. So people don't have to enter their credit card over and over again when they wanna buy something. They'll just literally automatically get billed, you know, just by pressing this button in one click. And in some cases, people are gonna actually click on the link or the cover and they're gonna to wanna to read the description and you know, check out the reviews and to learn a little bit more. Now, one of the key things that I'm gonna show you uh, in this Key Money Mastery program is I'm gonna show you all the stuff that you see here in terms of how to get your book written and made, the cover, the title, the reviews, pricing your book, all this core critical information. But one of the most important factors is being able to rank your book to be at the top of the list for its keyword. Because if this book here that I had published was all the way down on maybe the 18th page, then obviously no one's gonna buy it and it's not gonna make me any money. So the power of this system is being able to rank your book at the top of the search results for this keyword. And I'm gonna go into all this stuff a little bit later in the program. But I'm just gonna show you a little bit more of the overview and just you know, give you an example of the book that I have published here. So you can see here the cover that I have, and that, that's typically the first thing that stands out to people and grabs their attention, having a really good cover. The cover has to be something that people look at and they just decide, I want that. 
And unfortunately, people do judge books by their covers. So the cover is critically important. And later on in this program, I'm gonna show you how you can get this cover, uh, covers created for any of your books uh, for as low as $5, okay? This cover only cost me $5 to get made. Um, you know, you can see that there's the title that I have here for this Kindle book as well. And a, a very important thing is having the keyword in the title. So if people are searching for a gambling addiction, having the keyword gambling addiction here in the title is extremely important because that's gonna show Amazon uh, what is related uh, to that keyword, as well as additional keywords as well. So you can see I have other keywords in my title, such as I like got gambling addiction again, I have the keyword problem gambling, I even have keywords like compulsive gambling, gamblers, casino games, sports betting, poker, blackjack, etc. So having all those keywords in my title means that my Kindle book is gonna show up not just for the keyword gambling addiction, but for all these other keywords as well when people are searching for it. And the more keywords that I can have here in my book title, then the more exposure my Kindle book is gonna get also. So that's a very important thing that we'll go over a little bit later in the program as well, but that's an important factor of how people find your Kindle books. So the next thing that you'll see here is the author name. Now I use the name Michael Johnson as a pen name. And the reason for that is I don't want my own personal name associated with a book that I didn't personally write myself. This Kindle book, I actually hired a ghostwriter to write for me. Now using pen names is a very common practice in the book publishing industry. For example, Mark Twain is a pen name. Um, I know in a lot of fiction, romance, or erotica type markets, pen names are very commonly used. So you don't have to use your personal name behind books that you publish. When you publish your book, you can use literally any name that you'd like, and that way you're keeping yourself anonymous from this entire process. So I use the name Michael Johnson, and I also like to use different pen names for different niches and markets that I'm in. And another reason for that is to protect myself. I don't want people that are watching this video or going through my program to see all the different books that I have because if I reveal everything, then I'll have people that will copy me. And unfortunately, when I released K Money Mastery 1, um, and I revealed this book here, you'll be able to see just by searching, there's a number of people that have copied this book and started competing with me. So that's something that has been expected to happen, but that's another reason why I like to keep a lot of my Kindle books private and anonymous, because uh, I don't want everybody to know all the different niches and books that I'm making money in. Now, the next thing that you'll see here is the Amazon reviews, which is a very important piece of this process. Uh, this book has 37 customer reviews. Uh, overall rating is about four and a half stars, which is very good. The, obviously, the more reviews that your book has and the better quality of them, uh, the more sales that you're gonna get. And we'll cover that a little bit later in terms of how to get honest uh, reviews that meet Amazon's guidelines. The next thing you'll see here is the price of the book. Now, the price of this book, I don't want you to really pay that much attention to because Amazon actually changes and adjusts the price based on the country that you're in. Uh, right now, I'm in Canada, so they're actually factoring in the exchange rate and all this sort of stuff um, to the price of this book. But the way that pricing works is that you can price your book for as low as 99 cents, and Amazon will pay you a royalty depending on the price of your book. So if your book is priced at 99 cents, they'll pay you a 35% royalty. There's an optimal range though that Amazon wants you to publish and pr price your Kindle books in. And that range is anywhere from $2.99 to $9.99. When you price your book from $2.99 to $9.99, then they'll pay you a 70% royalty. So obviously it's optimal to price your book for at least $2.99. And again, I'll cover all that sort of stuff later on in this program. Now the next thing that you'll see is the length of the book. And the length of this book here is 17 pages, which is relatively short, but that's actually what sells really well on Kindle. A lot of people have the misconception that a book has to be hundreds of pages, and that's not really true. Maybe if you wanted to sell your book for $10 or $20 or more, then yes, you'd wanna make sure that the length of the book reflects the price. But in this case, we're only selling our books for 99 cents or 2.99. So having a shorter read ends up being beneficial for both you as well as the customers as well. Because a lot of people, they don't want to consume a 200 or 300 page book that's going to take them over a month to read. In fact, many people don't even read past the first chapter of a book, which is very unfortunate. And that's primarily because people are so intimidated by the length of a lot of books 
that people are, are looking for information that they can consume in a shorter period of time. And so the books that I have here in the example of this one is it's a short book that specifically covers how to solve the person's problem with gambling addiction. There's no fluff or stories. It's just pure factual step-by-step -step information that can benefit the reader. And there's a huge market for that. But I do typically recommend having the length of your book being over 20 pages, maybe 30 pages, 40 pages, even up to 50 pages can work really well. And over a period of time, you're gonna to wanna to improve your book and make it better and better the longer that you have it out there. And that's one of the great things with Kindle publishing is it's very easy and quick to be able to add more content and improve your Kindle book because we wanna make sure that our Kindle books are the best that they can be. Now, if somebody wants to buy this book, all they have to do is go right over here and click the buy now with one click. And like I said before, Amazon already has people's credit card information stored in their system. So people don't have to manually enter their credit card every time they wanna buy something. They literally just press the button, they get billed and charged for it right away, and then Amazon will pay you the royalty of this book. If somebody wants to give it as a gift, they can press this button right here. They can also add it to their wish list. They can also uh, start reading a free sample of the book right here as well. And they can also click on the cover of the book to take a look inside and preview the beginning parts of it as well. Now coming down here, you'll see that there's different formats available for this book. Um, I actually have a paperback version as well as an audio version available in the Audible. The paperback right now is not showing for this one, but I do have a paperback and audio book. And that's another way that you can sell this book because the Audible store, as well as just the books store for paperback, are also big markets that you can sell your book in and make a lot of money from. So that's more advanced stuff that I go over more in the full disclosure members area, how to do Audible as well as paperback. But those are other ways that you can repurpose your content and make more money from your Kindle book. Now, if you come down here, you're able to see the book description. And the book description is just gonna more clearly describe what this book is about. And so that's another core component of a book that's gonna determine whether or not someone's gonna purchase the book. Come down a little bit further, there's the customers who bought this item also bought section. So you're able to see what other books that customers have purchased. If you come down further, you're able to see the product details section. And this will basically have more information about the book. And one core important component is the Amazon bestseller rank. Amazon gives every single book a ranking in their system. So that the higher a book is ranked, obviously the more that the book is selling. And so that's another important component that we'll go over a little bit later in this program. And you're also able to see that there's different categories for this book as well that Amazon is ranking this book in. So for example, this book's ranked number two in the category of roulette, number 10 in the category of craps and number 22 in the category of gambling. So this is just giving my book even more exposure for people that are searching in those categories. And if I come down even further, we're able to see the Amazon customer reviews. And so obviously the Amazon customer reviews are very important in terms of selling a book. Uh, the more reviews that a book has, the better, as well as the better quality of the reviews is a very important thing as well. So being able to get Amazon reviews for your books are very important. You can see that this book has a lot of uh, high quality reviews and it's also got some low, lower star reviews as well. And that's totally normal and natural. Um, the key thing is if your book does get negative reviews, you just wanna improve the book. You wanna make it better and better and use those negative reviews as feedback on what you can do to make things better. So that's primarily it in terms of this overview of how Kindle publishing works. So hopefully this gives you a clear understanding of how Kindle publishing works. Basically, the method that I'm gonna to reveal to you is how to do everything that I just showed you, how to get your Kindle book written very inexpensively and ensure that it's a high quality book that will sell on Kindle, how to get a cover done that's very high quality that will be also inexpensive that you can also publish and sell on Kindle, how to create your description, how to be able to market your book, how to be able to get Amazon reviews, all of these core components is what I'm gonna be teaching you over the next lessons in K Money Mastery. So with this process that I'm showing you, you're able to publish Kindle books, and some of them for me have made up to $50 a month passive income, others $100 per month passive income, and I've even had ones that make me over $1,000 per month passive income every single month reoccurring. 
And so that's the power of this, being able to go through this process and publish little Kindle books just like this that are high quality, that help people and that sell on Kindle and being able to rank them at the top of the search in the Amazon Kindle store. If you can do that by what I'm showing you in this program, then you're gonna be able to build multiple passive income streams that will pay you reoccurring money month after month over the long run. So hopefully this overview gave you a good idea just on how Kindle publishing works. And what I recommend is that at the end of each of these lessons and videos that you're gonna watch is to make sure that you complete all of the lessons and the exercises that I'm sharing with you. That's the only way that you're gonna get results is by taking action. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. The exercise for this lesson is to spend a few minutes browsing around amazon.com and familiarize yourself with the website. Look over the book examples provided so that you can get an idea of what you'll be creating moving forward with this program. Yeah, so that's basically Kindle Publishing. That's basically the strategies you will learn inside here. And like you already see here, um, you have all the lessons here. Lesson one, finding a profitable niche. Which niches should you care about? I'm publishing books in the dog training niche. niche. I'm publishing books in the online marketing niche even. Uh, that's how I get automated affiliate sales with the Amazon Kindle strategy, which you will also get for free if you buy the K Money Mastery via the link under the video. Here, Stefan shows you how you can find profitable niches so that you spend your time right. Then, lesson two is keyword research. You should optimize for different keywords. Basically, when I'm going into the dog training niche, I optimize for keywords like, uh, yeah, dog training or something. A lesson three, creating a title that sells, design a cover that sells. You don't even have to do this yourself. You can also outsource this work. You can even let somebody write your ebook. You can do that on Fiverr or other platforms. Stefan shows you this in the course. And basically have someone to write and design your book. That's basically what I'm doing. And you just upload it to Amazon and make sure it generates sales. Lesson five is the Kindle book creation. How do you create Kindle books? How do you do all that? You will learn that inside lesson five, preparing your book for publishing and so on, creating a KDP account, publishing your book on Kindle, viewing your Kindle ebook. So like you already see here, you have everything you need inside of here. It doesn't matter if you're a complete beginner or if you are already selling books on Amazon. Stefan shows you his exact steps that he uses build a business from Amazon Kindle. So what else do we have here? You will also learn in the course how to boost your Amazon keyword rankings, how to uh, run ads to those ebooks, how do you um, monetize your ebook. There are different ways to do that. Like I already said, I'm putting affiliate links inside my ebook, which you will learn in the Amazon Kindle strategy from myself. And I'm monetizing it that way because that way I'm earning 10 times more than Amazon pays me on revenue and you can do the same if you do it the right way. Creating a series of books and monetizing the back end. Uh, how do you deal with negative reviews? How do you make sure that your uh, book also gets found on Amazon? Scaling up your Kindle books and making more money and so on. So you will have all these lessons inside here and even if you still have any questions you can just contact Stefan support and they will help you out they will help you with all your questions you can also post them in the comment box below i'm happy to answer all your questions i'm also doing the amazon kindle business so just post your questions below and i'm helping you with it yeah like i already said you can get the k money mastery via the link under the video bonusbomber.com slash kmm and you will also get my bonus courses where i show you how i'm making five figures every month with the right affiliate marketing online marketing and kindle marketing strategies first of all you will get my video course the instagram traffic strategy which is worth 297 dollars my youtube affiliate tech where I show you how I use the second biggest search engine for YouTube marketing, normally worth $297, my 
my chatbot mastery, my traffic booster video course, where I'm basically showing you how to run Google and Facebook ads on your products or on affiliate products. One of my main strategies, normally worth $399, you will get it for free when you get the K Money Mastery via the link under the video. You will also get my automation mastery course, where I show you how you can automate more than 80% of your recurring work, normally worth $497, my Fiverr arbitrage strategy, where I show you how I built one of the biggest Fiverr accounts by using Fiverr arbitrage. And last but not least, my Amazon Kindle strategy, where I exactly show you how I'm using the Kindle strategies, how I'm monetizing my Kindle business by putting affiliate links inside these ebooks and yeah, making affiliate sales with it. It's normally worth $199. I'm giving it to you for free. Just buy the Kindle Money Mastery via the link under the video, bonusbummer.com slash KMM, like you already see here. And don't forget to write me an email to bonus at bonusbummer.com so that I know where I can send you my custom bonuses. Or just write me on Facebook on my Bonus Bomber Facebook site. If you have any questions, just hit the comment box below. I will answer all of your questions. I wish you great results and great revenue with the Kindle Money Mastery. Bye.